this is Exploring the Shema, Discussions on the Issues of Trinity. And this uh, study is available on my website as well. Again, go to TateSayTorah.com and from the home page or any pages, right at the very top of the cluster of links, click on the link that says Discussions on the Issues of Trinity right there. And this paper is a bit longer. It's intended to be three parts, one, two, and three, pun intended there, Trinity study. And uh, we're in paper two. All of the uh, videos that are attached to this study are right at the very beginning, so all of the media is there. Scroll down past all of the YouTube thumbnails, scroll down past all of the um, podcasts and uh, the audios, and you can jump into the written study. There's also a PDF version if you'd like to print it and, and keep all the formatting. Uh, it's right available there. And so we're in uh, paper two. Uh, of this particular study where we're talking specifically about um, Yahweh and Yeshua. We're looking at the um, challenges that face us as Christians and as Messianics of how can we say that Jesus is God, but at the same time Jesus is fully human, right? The whole hypostatic union discussion all over again. Uh, what about all of the Unitarians out there? What about all the Oneness Pentecostals, right? What about all of the Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons? What about all the Iglesia, uh, Christ, Christadelphia and Iglesia, Iglesia, I can't remember their name. Um, um, the, 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 the groups out there that don't hold to the idea that Jesus is very God veiled in flesh. What do we do with that theology? And so part of, most of this is very apologetic in nature. So what we've been looking at are, um, uh, passages out of the New Testament, and specifically we're still focused on John. We're going to conclude this tonight, by the way. Uh, John 1.1 1, 1 is one of the favorite passages of Trinitarians such as myself who hold to the belief that Jesus is very God veiled in flesh. Let me just state it right up front in case you misunderstand my position. I am a Messianic Jew. I hold to a belief that there's only one God, but I also hold to a belief that Jesus, Yeshua, is 100% human but at the same time, he is 100% divine. He is very God veiled in flesh. I don't completely understand how that's possible, but I believe it because I believe that the, the Bible teaches it. And so I'm not afraid of admitting the fact that, that I worship Jesus as very God. Now, this doesn't make him God the Father. G the Son is not the Father, the Holy Spirit is not the Son. So we've all seen the little Trinity badge. I probably got one on my screen right now in my post production that you're looking at. The, you know, Jesus is God, uh, the Son, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit is God, and things like that, and the Father is God. But uh, Jesus is not, the Son is not the Father, and the Holy Spirit is not the Son. And, and so, um, God is one what and three who's, like Dr. James White is fond of saying. He's one God, but he's three persons. So, I believe in the, the, the classic uh, Nicene Creed, or Apostolic Creed, or... or um, whatever creed that you're used to reciting in your church tradition. So John 1.1 1, 1 tells us that at the beginning the Word was with God, and this Word, which was eternal with, with God, was also very God himself. We looked at all of these um, possibilities of him being a God, like the Jehovah's Witnesses talk about. Is Was he was he a God? Was he a lesser God? Was he a mini-God? Kind of like a mini-me, right? A, a demigod? And we've come to the conclusion that, that that's not the best way to view these passages. 